And thank you for staying with us. Well, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, masks have become a part of our everyday lives. Although masks can help prevent the further spread of COVID-19, masks can also be cross-contaminated with bacteria as well as germs. One less case is a company that's created out of a need to solve this problem. Their mission, to prevent one less case of COVID-19 by spreading awareness across the country and also the importance of proper mask use as well as storage. Their collection of mask cases provide a safe storage solution for your face mask. And joining us now is the co-founder of One Less Case, Jeff Chen. And uh, Jeff, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for having me. Excited to be here. Yeah. I think that for all of us, this is a new normal, of course. And um, that's the word that's operatively used these days is a new normal, um, having to get accustomed to wearing masks. But I think sometimes we take the mask situation for granted. And I know your company's doing some great work in terms of not just, uh, you know, creating a storage case, but also creating that awareness. But um, tell us about why you decided to find, you know, to find this uh, company One Less Case. Yeah, for sure. So like you said, you know, it's it's super important that, you know, mask and part become a normal part of our everyday lives now. So or keep your mask clean. Um, and for us, I co-founded this brand with my brother and his wife. We created this in quarantine. And, you know, for us, it was really about solving a problem. So we realized, you know, there wasn't any proper places to put your mask when you're taking it off. So we provide convenient, easy to use face mask storage solutions offered for both kids and adults to protect your mask and keep them safe when you're not wearing them. Yeah. And when we talk about, you know, storing our masks, I don't think that many people do that. You know, I think we just take our masks off, throw it on the kitchen table, throw it on the dining room table, throw it on the seat of the car. You know, there's normal things that everybody does, but nobody really takes a look at what some of the ramifications are. So what are the ramifications if I'm just like, hey, it's on the car seat, it's on the kitchen table. Talk to me. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, the, the most important thing is really listening to the health and science experts. And you really want to be mindful that your mask is not being put anywhere that could cross contaminate it with bacteria and germs, like you said. So, you know, for example, a lot of times you see people take their mask off, put it around their neck and anything, you know, that's on your neck is now exposed to the inside of your mask, which you don't want. So, you know, be mindful to not put your mask around your neck, putting it around your arm. Uh, again, like you mentioned, you know, you sit down to eat, whether it's at home, whether it's at an outdoor restaurant, making sure you're not taking your mask and putting it on the table, you know, that surface could have been exposed to other bacteria and germs. Um, and then again, you know, when you get home, whether that's like your countertop, your bar top, whatever you may have, where you put your keys, your watches, all your stuff when you get there, you know, making sure that area is not dirty as well. Um, we see this a lot, you know, just driving around. People have their mask in their car cup holder, hanging on the rear view mirror. Um, when you're out and about, you know, not throwing your mask and putting it into your pocket or your bag, you know, you have your keys, your wallet, you have laptops, you have other, you know, things you can shop in all day, you know, whatever it may be, you just don't want your mask touching those items. So again, it kind of just comes down to just like using some common sense and, you know, being mindful to not put your mask that is anywhere that's dirty or unsanitary. Well, it seems like, I mean, you're definitely filling the gap, right? I mean, you're filling the gap for a lot of us who may not take this information or have the knowledge of the information. Talk to me about the response that you get when you hear, when you talk to people about your company and what you're doing, because um, in many ways, it's almost like a common sense, no brainer. But then for those of us who are, you know, we've never been in a pandemic before, quite ignorant. Yeah, no, for sure. I think it's like we get the first response we get is like, wow, this is like this is something I needed, you know, and, and when we hear that, that just makes us happy because we know that this isn't a problem that, you know, only that we're only facing, you know, this this mass thing, like you said, completely new to almost everyone. And all of a sudden this thing is, is you don't leave the house without it. That's right. So now, you know, against my car, take my mask off where do I put this thing? You know, my cup holder just had an iced coffee in it from the morning earlier. So it's a little sticky. Like, you know, you get into all these day-to-day -day situations, like how do you, you know, properly put this mask somewhere where it's not going to get dirty and not going to get uh, exposed to bacteria and germs. So just being mindful of all that. Um, and then the second response we get is, you know, so the first one is, you know, people get excited because they, they have these similar problems. And the second response is that, you know, a lot of people are like, wow, I never thought about that. And then that kind of opens up their mind to actually, you know, being mindful of it. And for us, like you said at the beginning, it's, it's about raising awareness. Um, every, you know, that with this pandemic is about, you know, giving people the proper information so they can protect themselves. And if we can kind of give some of that awareness and information so that they can make an informed decision to protect themselves, you know, I feel like we did our job.
Yeah. Well, can you give us an idea of some of those masks, uh, you know, some of the mask cases that you have so that way people can take a look and see? Uh, I, I think many of us are so used to seeing masks. Can you uh, give us a look at some mask cases? Yeah, for sure. So we have four styles. So this first one um, is called the essential mask case. This is our most popular uh, mask storage case. It's made from a food grade silicone. As you can see, it's available in white and black. Um, they can fit any style of mask. And our favorite part is that they can be hooked to a keychain, a backpack, a carabiner. So you can easily just throw these on and take them on the go. Um, easily, easy, very easy to use, portable. Um, and again, our most popular one. Our second one is the starter mask case. So again, as you can see, um, they have the hook to throw them onto a bag, a keychain, a backpack. Uh, these fit the surgical style mask perfectly. So if you use those a lot, um, I recommend these. And they're about the size of a business card. They're small, they're portable. So you can just throw these into your pocket um, or you know, hook them, as I said. So again, very portable, easy to use. The next two is, we call this one the, uh, the personal. So again, everything I, I keep saying it, but they're all just great portable solutions. So you know, we know people's lives are on the go. You know, You have to return to work, return to whatever it may be. Um, so we're just providing options to do it safely. So these can fit up to four masks. Um, they have a locking feature, so you can easily put your mask in this and then safely put it into your bag, your purse, whatever it may be, and your mask isn't touching anything else. And then this last one is the group mask case. So this is one obviously a little larger, can fit up to 10 masks. Um, it's great to use at home, it's great to use in the car, great to use you know, at the office, store, whatever you may have, where it's, you, know, you need to safely store more than one mask uh, for a large office or large settings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, each one, each case is designed uniquely for different mask styles um, and like your personal usage preferences. So we find that, you know, different people have different favorites or different ones they use for different occasions. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, who would ever think for a moment that we would be in a place where we'd be talking about masks and proper storage of masks, but honestly, um, we're here now. Uh, and so give us a little bit about uh, the response since you've been launching your business, obviously, uh, this really took off during the pandemic. Uh, what's it been like for you? Yeah, so it's been it's been a uh, it's been an interesting ride. So we launched uh, August twelfth. So uh, we came up with the kind of like the idea right around July fourth. Um, and then once we realized like, hey, this is actually a problem that you know we can help solve by creating and putting these messages out there. We kind of just hit the ground running. Um, built up the brand, got the site up and going. And uh, we, we've, we've had, you know, like we said, like a tremendous amount of positive feedback from people in under two months. Um, you know, we're, we're talking and engaging with a lot of consumers on social media, on Instagram and Twitter. Um, and, you know, just from people that, you know, even if we're out and about at a restaurant and, you know, we're ordering something that we take our mask off to eat, you know, the servers notices, hey, what is that, you know? Like, oh, what a great idea, you know? So it's kind of like just, we're getting this a lot of positive feedback. And I think for us, it's like, while we wish this thing was over tomorrow, I, I think, you know, listening to the, the science and health experts, like we're in this for a little bit longer. So uh, it's just, you know, important to keep, you know, everything safe, you know, do things the right way and just, you know, follow the safety protocols as much as possible. Right. Real quickly before we go, I know you also have a philanthropic edge to this as well. You're giving back uh, a little bit about the give back. Yeah, for sure. So like you said at the beginning, you know, our, our brand's tagline is together we can prevent one less case of COVID-19 spread across the country. So we're just trying to do our part. Um, so 10% of all sales are donated every month to a different rotation of nonprofit uh, COVID relief and recovery organizations. In August, we were able to partner with United Way and BET's uh, COVID relief fund. And then last month of September, we were able to partner with the Save the Children COVID relief fund. Um, and yeah, we're doing this every month and the rest of our philanthropy efforts and nonprofit partners uh, are listed on our website. Wow, amazing work that you guys are doing. I wanna thank you so much for taking the time and being with us here on Open. So if people wanna get in touch with you real quickly, how they go about doing it? Yeah, so uh, the website is onelesscase.com um, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, at one less case. Um, that's one spelled out. Uh, and yeah, we're, you know, the cases are affordable. They're uh, an easy way to keep your mask safe and clean. They're easy to use. Um, with holiday season approaching, we've heard from a lot of people that they make great gifts. And then we've also been partnering with companies to get our mask cases into the hands of everyone in their group. So they're, in a, like I said, they're an affordable safety product. So if there are any large organizations out there, we'd be happy to share any bulk discounts and they can also be customized 
uh, to, you know, for your company logos or group organizations, which we've been done, which we've done lately in the past few weeks. So we're excited to help, you know, everyone out as possible. Amazing work. Thank you, Jeff Chen, our guest here on Open. Keep up the great work, Jeff. You're filling the need. Appreciate it. Have a good one. All righty. Well, we want to tell you, listen, now, if you want more information about Jeff and the work that he's doing, once again, we'll give you their information. All you got to do is follow them on social media at One Less Case. And if you want to go to the website, onelesscase.com. Well, 